Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is what we got so far. We're building an e-commerce app and we have kind of products here. In the last couple of videos, we've been working on the drawer, the layout drawer, the drawer layout, and we can kind of, it kind of works. Like you can go to settings, jeans, see how it's highlighted in red, shorts, um, you can go to settings, I, they're, they're duplicate settings, and you can also click on the hamburger icon and it will open it up. So this is working and this is great, but say we were to select jeans, it doesn't actually change anything. So we're gonna fix that in this video. So this is gonna be a shorter video. Um, and then, so this video will quickly go over how to actually uh, capture these triggers. Like when we, when we, when we go to sh socks, when we go to socks, we wanna see socks. And so we'll do that in the next video, but before we get there, let's go ahead and actually just play around with making it do something. Okay, so if we go back to the code, you see we have our navigation view, and that just goes, and that's the same ID as our ID there. Um, so we have that, we have this checked true, uh, we have drawer layout dot close drawer. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna do something. We are going to, uh, let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and do, let's create a new, oops, create a new line there. I go to the end, let's do this. Let's do when, so this is kind of like a switch in, in, in Java, but when, uh, when the, then we have access to the ITC, it right there, we have it dot, and then we have item ID. Now I've used it before, so it's there. But when the item ID is, and then we can kind of go through here and say, I'm basically gonna say, hey, which navigation, let me, actually let me back up a little bit. So in our menu, this is our menu here, and this being inflated, it's being inflated somewhere, wherever it is. But anyway, so in main menu, we have IDs here. So we have, so yeah, so we can actually find out. So main, let's do this. So it's in, yeah, so here it is. It's, it's actually in, so it's in activity main. So activity main, we have this code, and we made this in a previous video. So that should be familiar with you. And we, we set the menu right there. So that menu right there, goes to right here and it just inflates it up with everything that's inside of our main menu. So we have our main menu there and this is kind of like a little preview. It doesn't show it exactly right, but you can kind of see what's going on there. So we need to give these IDs. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do, I'm gonna change, so look for the ID and I'm gonna change it to, I'm gonna change it to, um, let's do this, action home. That's kind of a, a, a a, a convention I've used at work before. I've seen it where they talk action. So we'll call this action jeans. I think this was. Then we'll go down here and we'll do uh, we'll do action. What was this? Shirts. Sh action sh uh, shorts. So we have our IDs there. So we're gonna say, hey, whenever you click on. So let me open the emulator back up. So whenever. So whenever you click on. Whenever you, we'll just do jeans. Whenever you select jeans, we're assigning the, it an ID now. So every time you hit, so every time you click on press jeans, it will send this ID along to our main activity, which is over here. So we can get it right there. So this is basically saying, in our menu over here, we have an ID action home, action jeans, and action short. So we can add more later. But for now, we're gonna go and say, hey, when the ID is, and then we can do r.id.action, we'll do jeans for now. So when, so whenever somebody presses on, uh, whenever somebody presses on, let's go ahead and put that down a little bit, uh, and then we'll do put that down also. But whenever somebody presses on jeans, so, so on our navigation view, when someone, when we get the item, we get the item ID, and whenever that's jeans, we wanna do something. So we'll do this, we'll do d daniel, and then we'll do jeans was pressed. So I'll go ahead and do that. And this is just, we've done this before. This is basically just outputting a log to down the log hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just run this. So I'm gonna do the keyboard shortcut or you can click the, the button up there. I'm gonna go back to the emulator and I'm using a little different emulator this time I think. But here we are, okay. So now let's open up log hat and we'll search it for Daniel. You see I've already, I already have Daniel entered there. You can type out that just needs to match whatever is right there, and it's just for debugging. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and open up the drawer. Oops, not a shirt. Let's go ahead and open up the drawer, and let's click on jeans. And then see on the log hat, it says jeans was pressed. So there it is. So um, and then again, if we do settings, it doesn't do anything because we haven't set that up yet. But whenever it is jeans, it'll 
how you say jeans was pressed. So this is an easy way to like kind of go in and let's just, let's just add some more. So see this line here? Let's go ahead and duplicate it a couple of times. And we'll do this. And we do this, these just need to line up with whatever the IDs are in here. So at our menu, so we have action home. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do, uh, uh, let's do action home. And then this one will be uh, um, home. So, uh, oh, it's not, not, let's do going home. There we go. Um, so we have that, that's action home. What are the other actions? We have action jeans, we already have that. And the next one is action shorts. So action, let's do uh, action shorts there. So this is kind of like saying, hey, whenever the item ID is action homes, do that. Action jeans, do that. And action shorts, do that. So we'll do jeans is pressed, we'll do, uh, we'll do, what was this, shorts, and I'll, just make it lowercase. Doesn't really matter. This is just for testing. So here we have that. Um, and so, and there's also another, we'll just go ahead and run this and see. So I'll go ahead and run that, go back to the emulator, and then we should see stuff pile up in the log cat. So let's see. Let's go ahead and go to jeans. And sure enough, it says jeans was pressed. Let's go to shorts. Now it says shorts was pressed. And let's go to settings, which is really supposed to be home. Um, and the reason is we, in our menu, it's called it's called, the title is Action Settings, and this is says Settings, but we, this could be anything. We could go in here and do, say we don't wanna do that, we can do something like, we can do Home. Uh, yeah, we'll do Home. And then we'll go here, and then we have an extra one of those. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go ahead and run it just to show you, just to make sure it's a little bit clearer. Um, so we have, so there, the app loaded. I'm gonna open this up, and I'm gonna do Home, and it says Going Home. Uh, then, then again, jeans, jeans was pressed, and shorts, shorts was pressed. So in the next video, we'll actually change the user interface based on what you select. So if you select jeans, you'll see pictures of jeans. And if you select um, home, maybe it has a place to register or subscribe or to buy some special items or the weekly deal or whatever. Um, so anyway, this is a kind of shorter video, but we'll see you, I'll see you in the next video.